Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite items. Um, these are a little bit of skincare and some body care and cosmetics. So let's get started. I have about five things that I want to talk to you about and show you. And um, these are most of these or some of these are some rediscoveries and then some of these are definitely just tried and true that I've been using on a daily basis. So first I'm going to talk about a rediscovery and um, I pulled this out and started using it again when I was started doing my declutter and I have a whole series of declutter videos and I'll put little eye cards up so that you can check those out if you'd like anyway what I'm talking about is this product here is from Chanel it is a permanent item it was not limited edition and it's a blush it runs around $43 and it is the blush in Golden Sun I do have a um, dupe video for this because there is a, a drugstore, drugstore item out there that is a fraction of the cost of this item that kind of gives you the same effect on your cheeks and I'll tell you what that is after I kind of talk about this one here a little bit but anyway this is just a a silky rose champagne type color um, uh, there I do have it I do wear but I am wearing it today let's see if I can do a little swatch right there isn't that pretty anyway it's just like a warm brown with like a luminous flush or finish to the skin it is buildable so you don't have to worry about it being so pigmented that you um, are going to have a hard time blending it because it does blend um, very well it's easy to apply it wears all day and of course it's a Chanel I mean who doesn't love a Chanel blush oh my gosh um, it is $43 though. Um, that is kind of a drawback, but if you don't want to spend the $43 and get a Chanel blush, there is a Wet n Wild blush out there called Rose Champagne that is a pretty good match or dupe for this one. So um, either go with the Chanel Golden Sun or try the um, Wet n Wild Rose Champagne. But oh, it's so pretty. Just a beautiful blush. Um, I really think that anybody that has fair, to um, a light medium skin tone would very much enjoy wearing this I think if you were darker than that it may not it may not show up as well but just kind of add so you can just add or build it up and just see how kind of it has that luminous finish to it right there mm, just so pretty and I've just been enjoying using that again so definitely glad that when I did my declutter I was like oh, I forgot all about Golden Sun I love Golden Sun and it's really good for this time of year because we're kind of in that transition between winter and spring um, the weather here in Oklahoma has been up and down so some days it's really nice and warm and of course you want to wear really bright spring colors but like today it's all dreary and cold but this little blush right here just kind of perks everything up and it goes really really well with a lot of different um, eye looks too so you can wear it with a smoky eye you can wear it with a bright eye you could wear it with you know just a really natural uh, muted eye kind of like what I'm doing today Okay, the next product is a product that I use on a daily basis and have been for quite some time. I'm probably on my third or fourth bottle of this. Um, I heard about it first from um, Tammy from Uppies Beads 59. She had talked about how she had liked it and I wanted to give it a try. Now I'll kind of tell you a little something about me. I have very dry skin from head to toe. I'm really good about using skincare on my face and on my neck and on my decollete. But for whatever reason, I cannot stand to have lotion on my on the rest of my body. I don't like the way it feels. It, to me, it makes me feel like I'm suffocating and I just I don't hardly ever use any type of lotion, which I need to because I have very dry skin, especially in the winter with running the heat and everything but I have found a product that I really do like it helps with the dry skin it helps with the itchy skin 
Um, it absorbs quickly into the skin. It has a pleasant smell. It doesn't leave a residue. I can get out of the bath, put this on after I've kind of tailed off a little bit and put my night clothes on and feel very comfortable and don't have any issues. And what I'm talking about is from a drug, from the drugstore, you can get this at Ulta, um, possibly Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, but it is the um, OGX Argon Oil of Morocco Miracle in Shower Oil. And I just love putting, I probably get enough to feel this part of my palm right here. And I rub it together and then I just pat it all over my arms like that and then here over my torso and then I'll put that same amount back into the palm and I'll do my legs. Wonderful. Um, it's not oily. Like I said, it soaks into the skin. It leaves your skin just so soft and smooth. It really helps if you have itchy skin from, um, I like a really, really, really hot bath. And I know that's not good for your skin, especially if you have dry skin. It's really going to make it even worse. But I can't help it. I love the hotter, the better. So um, I need definitely need some type of moisturization. And I am so glad that I found this because now I do have something that I can use that I like. This is also a good product to put in your hair. So you can put it in with your conditioner. You can use it as an in-shower um, oil treatment for your hair. It's really good. You can put it in your hair um, as a styling product. That's how I like to use it. I like to put it in my hair with my um, gel, <coughs> hair gel. And by the way, I'm going to be coming up doing a video here pretty soon on products that work really well with natural curly hair. So if you have natural curly hair and you've been wondering what I use on mine, I'll be having that up probably one day next week. Anyway, love this. Um, it's around $9 at Ulta. Ulta a lot of times will be running buy one, get one half. Plus you can use those coupons that Ulta sends out on that since it's on the drug side of the house. Okay, another product that I have rediscovered and rediscovered because I put this in my project pan. Um, I use this for a little bit and then kind of put it on the back burner. You know how we all do when we get so much stuff and we start using new stuff all the time that we forget about products that we have in our collection that is extremely good. And then when you go back and get them and start using them again, you're like, when did I stop using this? And I'm talking about the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. This stuff, I'm telling you, if you want a really good exfoliating experience for your skin, um, I would try this. It smells wonderful. It smells just like pumpkin. Um, almost to the point where you really want to eat some pumpkin pie when you use this. It just smells so good. It does. It smells like if you've ever made a pumpkin pie, when you're mixing it all up, it smells like that. Oh, it smells so good. Um, it is a little pricey. The full size is $58. This is not the full size. This came in a kit where it was um, with three different ones that I wanted to get. Anyway, it does help to digest the dead skins that are on top of your, your um, the dead skin cells that are on top of your skin. Um, so what you do is you put this on a clean, damp face, you put it all on, you let it set for about five to 10 minutes, and then you start rubbing it in because it has these little um, bits and pieces in there that's really good for exfoliating that creates a physical exfoliant. So this is actually a, a chemical and a physical because it has the fruit enzymes in here that kind of eat the dead skin off the top layer of your face and then it has the chemical which is little bits and pieces in there that's a little rough that you rub around and scrub off those um, dead skin. So the trick of this is definitely to let it sit on there for a little while to let it kind of eat at that dead skin cells and then rub it around to really slough it off and then rinse it and your face will feel like a baby's butt. Now, I will tell you that um, if you have sensitive skin, you might want to leave it on for maybe five minutes until you kind of build up to it because it can have a little bit of a stinging effect. So just kind of beware with that. But anyway, oh, it's good. Okay, um, another product 
that I want to share with you and this is a new discovery um, it's something that this is the first time I've used it it's the first bottle of it that I have but I've talked I've not talked about it but I've heard other people talk about it a lot and I just have never really used it or wanted to try it but I found it I seen it at Nordstrom Rack when it's in the checkout line and so I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try because it was only $5. And what I'm talking about is the Mario Badesco Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. Yes, I have another rose product in my favorites. Um, I think this is, what, the third week in a row that I've done favorites. And each week I've had something rose in my favorites. Matter of fact, I could probably do a favorites video for the next 12 weeks and would have some type of rose product in it because I just love anything with rose but anyway um, this is a spray a facial spray you can use it in many many different ways um, how I like to do it is after I've done all of my makeup all of my powders have everything blended then I like to spritz my face with this to kind of help blend and settle the powder look and it has a really fine mist oh and it smells so good oh <sighs> Oh my gosh if you don't like rose which I don't know why you would not but if you don't like rose you won't like this because in my opinion I don't smell the aloe I don't smell the different herbs that it has in it I just smell the rose which is fine fine with me um, you can get this at Ulta which I think the big size is around $12 so it's not expensive at all um, to use this is a two fluid ounce and like I said I found this at Nordstrom rack for five dollars and I've been using it for going on three months now um, you can use it during the day just as a refresher you can use it before you put your makeup on as like a, a primer type mist um, gosh you could spray it on your hair you could spray it on your body I mean you could use this in so many ways but how I like to use it like I said is after I get done with all of my um, makeup and I put this on let it kind of settle and then I put my setting spray on but I really do really do like that and will definitely be repurchasing that okay the last thing I want to talk about and this is a rediscovery um, I had used this um, for a long time and then I got caught up in the hype of trying out some drugstore foundations and so I quit using this product and was using you know the drugstore foundations and I have since kind of thrown those away you'll see those in my upcoming empties it's just they just didn't work and I have these two products sitting here that I really like and I'm thinking you know why waste my time using a $10 foundation when I have a $40 quote quote foundation and you know what I mean here in a moment um, that I love so done with the drugstore foundations that I was trying they're done they're over I'm through with those and I've gone back to using my it cosmetics CC cream okay this is a multiple action working product um, they're around $38 each for this size and I do use two different colors I use fair and light and I mix them I use more of the light and add just a little like a just a half a pump of the I said that wrong I use more of the fair and I add just about half a pump of the light in with the fair just to kind of darken it up just a tad bit now if I'm using a powder a setting powder that's a little bit darker than what I want then I will just use fair or if I have a powder that's a little bit lighter than I want then I will just use light so anyway just kind of depends on the powder that I'm going to use on whether or not I mix them or if I use them separately anyway let's talk about some of the benefits the benefits are they have some wonderful wonderful skincare properties in here it is called anti-aging hydrating serum um, it has peptides, it has niacin, it has vitamins A, B, D, and E. Um, it has hyaluronic acid, and it has a hydrolyzed collagen in it also. Another 
good skincare benefit of this product is that it has an SPF built into it. Um, so with the having the SPF built into it, you want to make sure that you use it by its ex expiration date because we know that um, products with SPF in them do expire and if you use it past the expiration date um, then just keep in mind that your SPF is not going to be effective. But anyway, um, it can be used as a full coverage foundation. You don't have to just use it as a correcting cream. Um, I guess if you if you wanted to, you could put a foundation over the top of this and just use this as your correcting primer. But I just use it as my foundation. Um, I do have it on. And the best way that I like to apply it with is with my... Um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge here, which is dirty. I didn't wash it yet after I used it this morning, but love this. I'm so glad that I'm back to using it. I can just see so much of a difference on my skin with those um, foundations that I were using. By the end of the day, my face felt so dry and tight. And this, this doesn't do that. Um, I think it just has a really nice radiance to the skin now there is one that is a radiant one i don't like that one i feel like it's too much glow but this one is perfect it's the original one that they came out with years ago of course you know we all know that um the whole skincare it's cosmetics um line was um, formulated and worked she worked with um surgeons and plastic surgeons so it has really good ingredients that work really well with the skin and help repairing the skin so not only are you getting you know a beautiful beautiful cosmetic to wear on your face but you're also getting so much good skincare benefits from wearing it so definitely love it um, looking at my notes and make sure I haven't left anything off anyway <clears throat> getting ready to lose my voice um, allergy time oh spring a lot of people like spring spring to me is my my kryptonite pretty much everything out there outside is my body does not like it anyway whatever so anyway thank you so much for watching don't forget to do a thumbs up or if you didn't like it do a thumbs down let me know you know what you liked what you didn't like um, let me know maybe in the comments what some of your favorites are this week and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.